Well, here we go again. I'm talking about the men's rights activists again, right? I know. I mean, unless you're an MRA person listening to this, then you're going, oh my god, fucking murder, or whatever. But I don't care. The point here is that this debate keeps on going. It's kind of like in, you know, Peanuts, when adults talk in the cartoon, wah, 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 wah. and then here's the other side, wah, 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 wah. and that's all that's happening here, and these people just go back and forth, they're not listening to me, they're not listening to me. Well, you're not talking about anything sensical, so who's, who should listen anyway, right? Unless you're talking something that's worth listening to, no one should have to listen to you. And my point stands at this. All the things that these men's rights activists are levying at the feminists is exactly what the feminists are saying about the men. Oh, well, they're being this, that, and the other, and the women, they, they keep saying this about us. Well, what is the first point you MRA guys keep going on about is feminist this, feminist that, women that. Everything you accuse them of doing in some way is something you yourselves are doing. Oh, well, they're pressuring us, and they're doing this and that, and they're, they're keeping us down. Well and you're not, or you haven't, really. Like, history would beg to differ, but I already made that point in another video. That's completely irrelevant. If you wish to pretend that history is exactly how you want it to be instead of how it is, then go for it. Have fun with that. It's great. Fine. But the rest of us live in a thing called the real world, right? Where we can understand that there is no single cause to anything, really. Men are getting decided against more in divorce court and stuff? Well, the more realistic answer, instead of that there's some secret cackling group of, like, mustached women with all snidely whiplash things going on here, is that maybe there's an equilibrium starting to be reached, where at one point courts would never have dared to go against the man's decision in a relationship, where the woman needed to be subservient to the man. There's a thing even in the Bible about that, about, you know, a woman should be silent. Yeah, there's a lot going on with that. And if you actually want to pay attention to some gripes that are going on here on the other side, you might notice that, well, maybe they have a point. Maybe they're not just forming up as an entire group specifically because fuck men. No. And the real problem here is that it feels like to me your group has formed with the express purpose of fuck women. Like, that's it, really. Just... Women this, women that, blah, 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 they're doing this and that. It's never a, let's advance the cause of men by making things better for men. And let's talk about men's rights. It's always, let's talk about the feminists as the men's rights group. That's all you do. Listen to yourselves. All you ever talk about is what the feminists are doing. You're not talking about, let's advance the cause of men. What can we do as men to do things for men and blah, blah, blah. No, it's always feminism, 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 feminism. Everything has to do with the feminists. And I'll tell you what, no single group in the planet has the kind of power you are giving to feminists to claim that they can control basically the world, that all the courts are at their beck and call, that everything goes the way the secret Illuminati conspiracy of women says it goes. Doesn't work that way in real life. Nobody has that kind of power. You're just a group of Illuminati conspiracy nut jobs at that point. Oh, well, the Bilderberg group actually controls everything in the planet with economics and nothing happens without their permission. Just replace Bilderberg with feminists and you have your argument. It's nonsense, quite simply. Fucking nonsense. It's all you've got. And unless you can come up to the argument and say, hey, look, this is our issues, and this is what we as men are going to do about these issues, don't bring up the feminists. Bring up your issues, your concerns dealing with you from first person, I or we. What are we doing for us, not what are we doing to attack them? You know how feminism had a thing going with, hey, let's get voting for women because they didn't have that at one point, I like to make that side note, but you know what they didn't do? Say, hey, let's fuck the men over so we can vote. They said, no, let's get the right to vote. Or let's equalize wages, not let's take money from men. <laughs> they had a cause based on themselves and at the advancement of themselves, not based on the attack of a different group. 
And that's how you classify something you could call, I don't know, hate group, is when its entire ideology is based on fuck them. It's a hate group, isn't it? Everything we do is built around screwing over this group of people for some imagined slight, or because, just like anti-Semites, right, the Jews control all the money, of course, and they control Hollywood and everything, and the world is at their beck and call. Again, replace Jews with feminists, and you have your argument. Do you understand how absurd this sounds to the rest of us? And, by the way, don't pretend that these people don't exist. I hear this so much where, oh, all of these, you know, men's rights people that you talk about that are all objectionable and dumb, well, they're not real or they're not the face of the movement. Oh, well, they aren't. How come, for one, that's about all I ever hear from, and two, how come they're the loudest and most vocal group in your entire movement. It almost seems like they're the majority of it, even. Don't know. No, no, maybe it's just appearances, but in this world we live in today, just so you know, in case you missed it, appearances fucking matter. If you appear to be something, act like something, and look like something, people are going to assume that's what you are. Does it walk like a duck, talk like a duck, smell like a duck? It's a fucking duck. Oh, well, they're just a bunch of nobodies. No, they're everybody. Oh, well, they're just the average people in our group. They're nobodies. Well, what is a group but its members? A group is not some magical construction that fell from the skies, granted down by God himself. No, it's made up of people, by people, for people, and it is the people in it. And if almost everybody in your movement is running around like a chicken with their head cut off, screaming that the women are taking our jarbs, then it's what you look like. And that's what we're going to think you are. And maybe you are listening here, one of those actual, legitimate, sort of rational people who consider themselves in favor of men's rights. Well, good for you then. I think you're in a very small minority and you might want to consider the company you keep. But, hint, do not classify every talking point you have by starting with the feminist blank. I'm going to tune you out because then you're scapegoating. You're just creating a boogeyman right out of the closet and just pulling it out and saying, look, this is the reason for everything that's gone wrong in my life. It's advocation of responsibility for the self. You're saying, well, my life sucks because there's an evil conspiracy of women that are making it suck. Not, my life sucks because I lacked ambition, I had bad luck, or something else that contributed to my own circumstances. No, it's their fault. Everything's their fault. It's all their fault, and it's not me in any way at all. Pretty much, it's la 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 to my own flaws. It's what it is. And all the commenting fuckers who are going to show up in this comment section too, just like you did in all the other ones, well, keep going. Please, comment about how I'm a mangina and call me a woman because that's pejorative in your eyes. Which, by the way, shows me, more than most anything else, your actual feelings on this issue when you use the word she for me and use that as a pejorative against me. You're telling me that by using female pronouns for me as an insult, you're telling me what you think of women. They're lesser. That's what you're saying, basically. By calling me a, ma a woman instead of a man, you're saying I am less than what I am now. That is the implication, is it not? Or else, why are you saying it? Oh, just, I think your gender is different. Well, I have a video about that, yes. Hat, watch it. I already made the argument for myself. And for those who are going to say, like, well, you just support feminism because you want to be a woman and stuff, well, I'm not a woman, and I get that. Trust me. I get that I'm not a woman, and I'm not going to advocate for a group who was somehow against me. And let's be honest, no brigades of, like, club-wielding feminists have come by to beat me down and take my paycheck or something else. This has never happened to me. I don't know where all of these men's rights guys are getting that all these women are destroying everything and hurting us all and everything, because I I miss that boat. Maybe they understand that I'm a mangina, right? So I get a pass? Is that how that works? Like, I'm already in their camp, so they don't attack me, but every other guy gets fucked? Oh, wait. I know a lot of guys, and none of them have had this problem. Oh, yes, and I'm sure it's going to come up at some point where someone's like, oh, well, you're gay. I mean, by the way, by calling me gay as a pejorative, aren't we also denigrating an entire section of the male population this way? You know, gay men? Shouldn't men's rights activists be sticking up for these people, too? I mean, they don't even like women in a sexual manner. They should be right up your fucking alley. Shouldn't they? They're all about men. So why are we using that as a pejorative as well? Why, why are we being like, oh, you're gay is an insult? Come on, stick up for your gay men. They're men too, aren't they? 
or is this entirely selective based on it's not a men's rights movement, it's a my rights movement for whatever I want. So be aware of what you're projecting when you say things, especially in my comment section to try to denigrate me. That not only does it not work, I mean, really, you're, you're some text on a comment section, which is pretty much, as everyone knows, next to the asshole of an internet, right? If the internet had an asshole, you find it in a comment section. Everybody knows this, so if you're trying to somehow hurt me or destroy my argument by making hurtful and insulting comments in a comment section, well, you and everybody else? I mean, I can't muster any care, honestly. It just doesn't bother me. So keep the comments rolling if you want. Please keep insulting me. Call me a mangina, a gay fag. I don't even know what you're going to come up with. It gets pretty inventive, I must admit. Just keep it coming. Not only do I get to laugh at the new creative portmanteaus of words you've slapped together, like mangina, which if I could, I accidentally called that creative. Whoops. Mangina. You mean an asshole. Just call it what it is. Now, if you have a legitimate argument, right? This is an unfair thing happening and I wish to stand against it. Well, do that, please. By all means, do that. But do not for the love of everything that matters in this universe, do not phrase your entire argument based on this one group of people did everything wrong in the world because you look like you're insane. Just something to think about.